And now we have Miss Renee Menard joining us, Executive Director of Family Promise of Acadiana, with information on the organization and an upcoming event that we will get to. Renee, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, Family Promise of Acadiana, tell us about this organization, what you guys, uh, what, what the focus is for you guys. So we're a nonprofit organization and we've been serving homeless families in the Acadiana area since 2004. And what we do is when families find themselves in their hardest time and they're homeless, we take them in, we talk with them, we find out what led them to homeless, we work out a goal plan for them so that we can try and break that cycle of homelessness. Mm -hmm. Everything that we do for our families is free. Um, we are primarily a volunteer run organization. I'm the only paid employee. Oh, wow. And so we depend on our community. Mm -hmm. We receive no government funding at all. So the support of our community has been a very important part of our program. Mm -hmm. Now, on average, how many families do you think that you guys serve maybe per year, per month, however it works? Well, we serve three to four families at a time. Okay. When we first started way back in 2004, we could get a family in and out of the program in 45 days. Mm -hmm. um, our area is going through a critical housing problem right now. And so finding affordable housing that our families can go and move into on the money that they make at their employer mm -hmm. is becoming more and more difficult. So now our families are staying five to six months. So we're not able to help as many families, but while they're in our program, they're saving money. So some of our families leave with a pretty decent mm -hmm. savings account when they leave. And that's so important so that if something happens, they have something to back up and they're not, again, going mm -hmm. back to that homeless cycle. Now, as you mentioned, volunteers are a huge part of what you guys do. And Giving Tuesday, that's coming up in November. And I'm assuming that's a great way for us to be able to help you guys and give back. That is. We just purchased a new shelter for, the, for our families. And we're in the process of doing renovations. And we're, we're excited about the outside. It has a big yard. And we're going to have a beautiful flower bed. But we're also going to have a raised garden. So we can teach our families how to grow vegetables that they can bring into the kitchen and cook with. Mm -hmm. And so for Giving Tuesday, we're looking for help to build an irrigation system, to build the raised bed, to plant the flowers, and, and everything we need to get that looking great for our families and for them to be able to use when they move in. So all of our gardeners, this is your call to come and help out the, the family promise of Acadiana. Where is, or are we allowed to disclose the location of the, of the shelter? Right now we're on work? university. We okay. have two facilities on university right now. Gotcha. Uh, the new one is not up and running yet, so mm -hmm. we're not giving that out just yet. Gotcha. But so it's going to be at the new one that uh, where the garden will be. That's where the volunteers are going to be working yes, on. And uh, the hours for that um, on Giving Tuesday, what does that look like? So Giving Tuesday, you know, it's a great opportunity opportunity after we have uh, Black Friday mm -hmm. and then Cyber Monday. Giving Tuesday is a way for people in our community to give back to nonprofits. Mm -hmm. And so it's an all day event. You can go on our website, familypromiseacadiana.org, and you can donate on the website. Perfect. Familypromiseacadiana.org. If you would like to take part in Giving Tuesday, again, that is coming up next month.